Hello everyone, and welcome to part one of a two-part lecture series for this week's topic, scales and key signatures. For this part, we're going to be talking about the major scales and scale degrees, and we'll learn how to build major scales as well. Part two is going to be about finding key signatures, and that, once we know all of this, is going to be extremely simple. So hopefully you saw the video, the YouTube video, helping you to label each of the keys on the piano, so I'm not going to go over that now. But I will address one very special note on the piano in particular, and that is this note right here. This is called middle C, and I'm just going to abbreviate it as mid C. Aptly named because it is right smack dab in the middle of the piano keyboard. This is a very common note used for helping you to name the rest of the piano keys. So from middle C, if you know that well enough, you can know that the next note is D and then E and then F and so on. It's also very commonly used because it can help you figure out what range you are on the piano. So middle C being right in the middle sounds like this. So if you know that, if you hear a C maybe that's a little higher, you know that's this octave right here. So in a sense, in addition to helping you find the names of the rest of the notes, it's also a really good guidepost for helping you to find which octave you're playing. Middle C on the staff looks like this. It's on the treble staff, one ledger line below E. We are going to build a major scale based on C, but before we do that, I need to briefly discuss what half steps and whole steps are. Going back to the piano keyboard, grabbing a black marker, you notice that there are white keys and black keys, obviously. The distance between one key and the key that it's immediately next to, which is this C sharp, not this D, that is a half step. So I'm just gonna draw some arrows here, and then I'm going to draw an H. So the distance from C to C sharp, that is a half step. A whole step consists of two half steps. Let me move over just a little bit. So the distance from this F, for example, to this G, that is a whole step. And let me draw that down here. And we'll use a W to represent whole steps. Let's do a couple more examples so that you get a better idea. Let's take this A. The distance from this A up to this B flat, because they're immediately next to each other, that is a half step. The distance from C to D, that is a whole step. Again, a whole step is two half steps. So from C to C sharp is one half step. From C sharp to D is another half step. Therefore, the distance from C to D is a whole step. I think you get the picture. So right now we're just gonna go and construct our major scale based on C. The reason why I discussed half steps and whole steps is because when you, need, when you build a major scale, you need to follow a specific pattern of whole steps and half steps. And that pattern is this. Whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. Or a shorter version of that, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. So what do I mean by this? 
Well, a whole step up from C is D. So we would write that in here. And then you do a whole step up from D, which in this case is E. And then you want a half step up from E. In this case, it's F. Because E and F are immediately next to each other, that is the distance of a half step. So again, a half step up from E is F. We fill those in. Then we want a whole step up from F. In this case, it would be G, then a whole step up from G is A, whole step up from A is B, right? And then we need one half step up from B. In this case, it would be C. Because again, B and C, they're touching each other on the keyboard. So that C would go right there. So now I'm going to say out the whole step, half step pattern while playing the notes on the keyboard. So from C, Whole step up to D, whole step up to E, half step up to F, whole step up to G, whole step up to A, whole step up to B, whole step up to C. It's pretty simple. I'm going to keep this pattern here. And then I'm going to now build a major scale based on D. Let's move this out of the way just for one second. So now D is going to be our starting note. This is where some sharps will come into play and you will see that very soon. So now let's start on D. Again, whole step up from D would be E. A whole step up from E would be not F, but F sharp. Again, because you go two half steps with one whole step. So you go from E to F, that's one half step. F to F sharp, that's another half step. So from E to F sharp, that is a whole step. To denote an F sharp, you simply put an F and then a hashtag in front of it. <laughs> hashtag F sharps. Okay, so then we need a half step up from F sharp. The note that is immediately touching F sharp is actually G. So then we just write that in like so. And then we need a whole step up from G, which is A. Then we need a whole step up from A, which is B. Whole step up from B, similar to the whole step up from E, not C, but C sharp. So again, from B to C, half step. From B to C sharp, whole step. To denote a C sharp, you just put in a C, 
and then another hashtag. Then finally, we need a half step up from C sharp, which is our D. So just like with C, I'm going to sound out the pattern and I'm going to play the notes on the piano. Starting from D, whole step up is E, whole step up is F sharp, half step up is G, whole step up is A, whole step up is B, another whole step up is C sharp, and then a half step up is D. When it comes to scale degrees, that is actually extremely simple. Once you have the scale written out, if you know your numbers, all you need to do is write them in. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Because this is the same letter name, it technically does not get a scale degree number, even though you can say that it's scale degree 8. To denote a scale degree, in addition to the numbers, you will also need a little caret. So how this would work is, if you say, if you were given a D major scale, and someone were to ask you, what is scale degree 4? in D major, G. How about what's scale degree six in D major? B. <laughs> what about scale degree two? E. Scale degree one or eight? D or D. And that concludes our lecture on scales and scale degrees. Part two, we'll talk about key signatures and how they are related to major scales very closely, in fact. I'll see you then.